Welcome to Africa State of Mind. Thank you so much for having me. Now, Vivian, you're a huge advocate for um, the rights of young girls, the rights of women, the rights of you know youth in Africa in general. You know, and to a huge degree, a lot of the things that you know are discussed quite often, you know, um, around this, you know, with um, child marriages and everything, are, are topics that we hear all the time. You know, and sometimes it's, you know there's a danger that whenever we hear it, people are like, oh, okay. Here we go again, you know, and just for the season, there's a month, you know, looking at it, there's a month where we look at human trafficking, there's a month, you know, on and off. What do you think is the thing that needs to change so that it becomes more than just a topic of conversation and something where people who are really powerful can say, oh, I spoke about this for a day, you know, so that it comes to something where it actually implements change, specifically in Africa? I think, um, to be honest, what you're saying is very true, and... Uh these are the same questions that people keep asking you. Mm -hmm. Me, um, whenever I go to all these events and even in the community, you're like, oh, we're talking about the same issues every day, mm -hmm. but we're not seeing any progress and whatnot. And I think, as I said on stage, most when it comes to the issues on gender equality and whatnot, it has always been a women's conversation. And it's just now that men are starting to become a part of the conversation. And that's really important when it comes to a achieving lasting change and mm -hmm. having some tangible action points. Um, so yes, the conversation and discussion have been there, and which is really good because then it means that people, when people say, oh, I've had, I've had, mm. it means that they have the information. Yes. And that is the first step towards the right direction, having that information and being aware of what's happening in your environment, in your community, in your family. And then the next thing was going to be the implementation. But that's also going to be important because the next thing that's going to be important is the laws and policies that we have on the ground. Mm. Because I may have an idea of what we need to do, but if the laws don't protect me, if they don't, if they don't protect empower me, you. empower me, yes. exactly, it's going to be difficult to make a case to a community leader why I think it's important to invest in mm. girls' education, why I think it's important to ban um, early child marriage. And uh, I think a good example is uh, Malawi, um, that just recently, two years ago, they banned early child, mar early child marriage, and they increased the marriage age from 16 to 18 years. But then, it's, I think it's last year, um, I saw this article about uh, hyena practice, mm -hmm. where girls have to sleep with this man for initiation, for the initiation into adulthood. Oh my but the man is HIV positive. What? Has slept with over 102 this women. Is in, this is in and he name. himself is very proud of the fact that he slept with more than 100 women and is HIV positive. But parents continue to take their girls to go through the initiation process sleeping with this man. So I saw the article and I quickly emailed the UN Women Executive Director, Madame Pumzile, and I told her, you have to act right now. This mm -hmm. cannot continue happening. And uh, I think she mobilized a team, called the team in Malawi, and called the government, and literally everybody was involved. And before we knew it, the president of Malawi ordered for the arrest of the guy and the banning of the practice. And for the first time, Malawi is enacting their gender law. Um, wow. for the first time Amazing. after that case came out. So I think it's just small steps will get there, but it's also about you and I being aware of what's mm -hmm. happening in a community and reaching out to those who have the power to make a difference and actually holding them accountable. Because I kept emailing to know what's going on, what are the steps they've taken, what's happening with the case, until I saw the official uh, announcement when it came from the government of Malawi. So... I don't think we've had enough conversation. We need to continue having these conversations. And when people say, oh, I've heard, it means that it's good that they've heard. At least they hear it. Yeah, something. they know that there's something that's happening in the community that's wrong that needs to be changed. And then collectively we work towards that.